The right brain makes these appraisals so quickly that our body and mental state is altered before we become conscious of what we are feeling. Whoa. Which makes total sense since consciousness evolved after biology. Holding this book is annoying. (laughs) Back to the book. Because of its ability to read the subjective states of others, the right brain is the seat of emotional empathy. It depends on us feeling what another person is feeling in an embodied way. In contrast, the left brain is the seat of cognitive empathy. It depends on us, in quotes, working out what the other is feeling in a less embodied, detached, and colder way. The autonomic nervous system is the part of the nervous system that functions largely below the level of consciousness to control visceral functions such as heart rate, respiratory rate, Digestion, poop, <laughs> poop, pupil dilation. <laughs> Sorry, P- pupil dilation, and so on. <laughs> oh, you gotta have a laugh once in a while, right? Don't cut that out, Nathan. That's funny stuff. I was gonna say the S word, but because that would have been even funnier. But anyways, back to the book. Oh, I forgot where I was. <laughs> Where's poop? A pew. Okay. Okay. It has two branches. So he's talking about the autonomic nervous system. The auto, autonomic nervous service system, it has two branches. The sympathetic branch, which mediates energized arousal and approach, and the parasympathetic branch, which mediates withdrawal, rest, relaxation, and repair. The right brain mediates the balance between these two branches of the autonomic nervous system, and through that determines the somatic, which is body, Aspects of emotion as well as the subjective ones. Connections between the right brain and the hormonal system are another channel through which somatic aspects of emotion are mediated. Basically saying most of this is going right brain. Pretty much all of it. The deep stuff. You got to think, well, why is this deep? This is deep because fear, what were the other ones? Disgust, terror, rage. Those are... Those were around long before humans were. Those were the the emotions that were creating behavior in organisms, right? The the obviously the more advanced, but even the low biological one, they probably didn't experience it and weren't conscious of it. But there was something that was moving them towards food and reproduction, and something that was moving them away from danger and death, right? 